Okay, so um, the objective of this video is to figure out the volume of this box. So what does volume mean? Well, I always learn that volume means the number of unit cubes that fit inside of this box. Oh, okay, so the volume is the number of cubes in the box. Well, as it happens, our box is full of cubes, so let's pull them out. There's our box. All right. So do we just need to count the cubes? Well, we could. Does that mean we'd have to pull them all apart, though? Because there's well, some hidden inside. There, there are. We I don't have want to have to know. pull them all apart. Well, I don't want to have to put them all back together. So let's Is there just another way? figure out a way. Well, look at the colors. Each, each layer is a different color. Well, now a layer is one row down here all the way through. Yeah, because a layer goes all the way through. It's the cake and then the frosting and the cake and then the frosting. Okay, so if I turn it over, I can look at this layer. Right. There's a layer right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this layer has three blocks by three blocks. There's nine blocks on there. Well, if I count them, they're nine, but if it's three by three, how do I get there without counting them? Well, I could find the area of this bottom one. I could say, if I put it like this, if I knew the dimensions, if I knew the length, the width, and the height, I could say this one is the length is 3 and the width is 3. So the bottom layer is 9 because 3 times 3 is 9. Right. Okay, so the bottom layer is 9. So that's good. If I know the bottom layer, then to me it looks like there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 layers. So 5 layers of 9. So, so can I count by 9s? 9. Can, then I have 18, 27, 36, 45. There should be 45 there. And do, do I have count? to count by the number of layers each time? Is there another way to do it? Well, couldn't we say 9 5 times? So 9 times 5. So that means multiplication. Right. So 9 times 5 is 45, and that worked. And it worked. So what did we end up doing to find out the number of blocks? We said that this was the length and the width. Because the length and the width always touch the desk. Right. And then what's the number of layers? That would be the height. The height. So we to get the bottom layer we did length times width and then we took our answer and multiplied it times the height. The height. So to find the number of unit cubes that'll fit in a box, a rectangular box, all I have to do is multiply length times width times height. Yeah, I like to think about just finding the layer first. So what if we write up here, it's the number of cubes in the bottom layer times The number of layers. of layers would equal the volume. And to get the number of cubes in the bottom layer, I multiply the length times the width. Right. And the number of layers was the height. So then that equals volume 2. And the other important thing we need to know is whenever we're doing volume is we're, doing, we're finding the number of cubes. So volume always is labeled cubic units, which could be feet or inches. Is there any other way we could write cubic units? Well, cubic is three, right? Right. So can I write units cubed? Yep. As units to the third power would be units cubed. cubed. Right. So either one of these would be acceptable. And it's units cubed, it's three dimensions, because it's got length, a, one unit, one unit, 
and one unit. So it's got three dimensions. It does. So our box, the volume was, what was the bottom layer again? Three by three. The length of three. Three times of. three times five. Five, five gave us 45, and if those are inch unit cubes, then it would be inches cubed or cubic inches. Okay. 45 cubic inches. Good. So that's how you find the volume of a rectangular box. Or a rectangular prism. <laughs>